So this one we're going to be drawing a circle and we're going to be giving it a border, a black border and a red fill style inside. And I'll show you the different ways that you can update the statements and the order of the statements in order to adjust the way the circle looks. We're going to draw our circle within the canvas. Canvas element has a width of 600 by a height of 200. I've linked it to a JS file and within the style sheet I've given the canvas a border of one pick solid black so that we can see it within the page. Selected the canvas elements using JavaScript. So we're ready to begin our path. So the begin path is going to be once again our starting point. So think of it as where you want your pencil to start. So you're positioning your pencil anywhere within your canvas. So we're building an arc and the arc is going to start and uh, the center point of the arc is going to be 100 by 75 and then the radius is going to be 50 and moving the start angle is going to be 0 and then the end angle is going to be 2 times math so using the JavaScript math and pi so that will give us a circle so the x and the y parameters define the center of the circle the radius sets its size the angles define the start and end points of the arc radius so in order to draw it, so just as we do with the line, we do a stroke and that will allow us to draw the circle within the page. So there we go. So we've got our circle and now let's move on to the next step where we want to fill the circle. So we select the circle itself and um, we're going to do a fill style on that element before we draw the stroke and selecting the style for the fill and let's set that to be red so that will fill the last drawn action and then we can do a ctx fill and that should just be fill so that will allow us to fill the circle notice that we still have the stroke so it actually doesn't matter if we complete the circle with the stroke and then we do the fill after or if we do the, the stroke afterwards. You can see that it is slightly thicker when we do the fill of the stroke afterwards. We can also do a line width. So if we wanted to make a thicker line, let's do our line width for the stroke and then what we want to set the width to. So let's set it to five pixels. So that will give us a thicker stroke for the line. And if we do it before we do the fill, it's slightly less because where the stroke is, is going to take two, two and a half pixels into the circle, two and a half pixels on the outside. So for within the border. And that's why we're seeing that when we have a, the stroke is done before we do the fill, it's slightly smaller. If we do the stroke afterwards, it's slightly bigger. So you can play with the order of those in order to adjust the way that the circle fill and the stroke looks. And if you don't want the stroke, then you can always remove the stroke and just have the fill. If you don't want the fill, you can just remove out the fill and just keep the stroke. So either way, and this allows you to customize the circle that you're drawing.